Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to create a fish eye effect in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see the image that I've picked to use today and so what we're going to be doing is creating a fish eye effect that you would get from using a fish eye lens. Now um, a lot of people don't have fish eye lens so this is a great way if you would like to get that effect that you can do it in Photoshop without having to spend the money on a lens. So basically there's two main ways that I've seen this done. Um, I'm going to be showing you both even though I would recommend the second um, because I think it's better but I'm going to show you both just in case you have a preference of one over the other. So I'm going to first go up to filter and then down to distort and then spherize. Now what this filter does is I'm just going to take and put this out to 6% because my image is pretty big. Um, basically what this filter does is it takes and pulls out the um, edges from the center so it gives you kind of a bubble or more of like a fisheye um, kind of spherical look to your image. Now you can see exactly what it's doing when I take the amount and slide it here. Now I'm just going to take and put it up to 100% so you can see the most drastic changes. I'm just going to click OK. So you can see we have um, an interesting kind of fisheye look here, but the problem is you can see right here, you can see exactly where um, it stopped pulling the edges. So in order to get rid of that, you almost have to scale it up or crop it, and by the time you get those edges off the screen, you've zoomed in a lot on your subject and you kind of lose out on the rest of the image. So again, I would not recommend that method, but it might help you um, along the way. So the second way, um, which is I feel like a lot better is by going up to edit and then down to uh, transform and then to warp. Now what the warp transform allows you to do is basically move around different parts of your image. By just clicking on these lines and dragging them you can get um, some pretty crazy effects. Now it would take a long time for you to warp your image um, by hand in the way that a fisheye would look. So I'm just going to go back to transform, I'm just going to cancel out of that. And what warp has are some handy um, presets. So if you come up here into your options bar where it says custom, just go down to the fisheye preset. A lot of you guys probably didn't know that there were even presets and that there was a fisheye preset. So now you can see that we have a much more realistic fisheye effect. You can see that it's warping everything, not just a certain circle around our image. And so it gives for a much more realistic um, effect like a fisheye lens actually would. Um, so you also have some more um, control over the settings. If you wanted to have uh, more bend or less bend, um, kind of what the slider was doing on the other one, you can adjust this percentage right here. So if we take and put it up to 100%, you can see we're really pulling it. Um, we can put it down lower, but somewhere around 50 seems to be about right for this image. Um, you can also adjust these other settings uh, to your liking. So once you click the check mark, you have a pretty good fisheye effect there. Now for skateboarding and all kinds of other stuff, um, this would be pretty cool uh, for your work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back for a new video tutorial next week. Thanks for watching.